Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a BOO! Wait, where is- <laughs> I'll be teaching you how to make a jump scare in Roblox. For those who don't know what a jump scare is, it's essentially some image that pops up on your screen without you expecting it. Okay, let's begin. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to hop on to create. And from there what you want to do is you want to click on this marketplace button. And now what you want to do is you want to find images. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look for a jump scare. So this is the image that will show up on the screen. That is the jump scare. So let's look for one. Okay. So just, I looked up jump scare here. I'm just going to look for one. That's a cool jump scare. Um, uh, Hmm. I think I like this one. Okay. So once you've got your image down, you can look for these IDs right here or this ID right here. It's 130866. This ID right here, it's right after the asset. And what you wanna do is you wanna copy this. So right click and then copy. You could do a control C on your keyboard. And then you wanna hop back into Roblox. Okay, so if you have not watched my UI tutorial, it will be linked somewhere in the top right corner. And what I'm basically gonna do here is I'm gonna create a screen GUI. And a screen GUI just allows us to put an image on the screen. So once you have your screen GUI, you're just gonna right click the screen GUI, click insert object, and and you're gonna look for image label. And now this is the object that represents the jump scare. So the jump scare we want to, we wanna make sure this thing is the size of the entire screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this size to 1010. And that will fill up the entire screen no matter how big or small your screen is. Okay, now remember that ID that I had you fetch? You're going to scroll down and look for image and then you're just gonna cut, you're gonna paste the ID in. You're going to press enter and there's the jump scare. And now what we have to do is we have to code this thing. So once again, how a jump scare works is it will just randomly and unexpectedly show up on your screen. So to achieve this effect, we're just going to go and create a local script underneath the image label. And now we're going to start coding. So what we got to do first is we have to get the image object. So we're going to say local image or we're going to say local jump scare image equals script dot parent. And what we're doing here is we're just saying, let's create a new variable called jump scare image and let's set it to the parent of the script. Well, what is the parent of the script? Well, script is this script right here and script.parent is basically the parent of the script, which is the image label because it comes right above it. Okay, so we need to figure out when we want the jump scare to show. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, let's make it show every, let's start basic. So we're gonna say, wait five seconds. And now we just make it visible. And now after five seconds, a jump scare image will be visible. So let's try it and see what happens. So now I'm in my game and nothing's going on, nothing too bad. And all of a sudden, bam. So that's pretty cool, but we can do better. So instead of just making it visible, I'm thinking, why don't we make it grow? So let me just make it visible again. We're going to set the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. This will allow the image to grow from the middle. So set your position to 0 0.50, 0 0.50. Make sure your size is still 1010. And now instead of just doing this, we're going to try to make this thing grow. And what I mean by that is this. So we're going to make it visible again. We're just going to set the size to 0000. What that's going to do is it's going to shrink it to basically not even being there. And we can, we can set this visible to false. So now it's not there. It has a size of zero and it's not there. Now we're just going to make it grow. So to do that, we're going to use something called tween service. What is tween service? Ah, I guess you have to exit out of this video and look for a tween service video. Nope, I have one for you. And it's linked right there somewhere in the video. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to say local tween service equals game get service tween service. What is tween service? It's something that allows us to smoothly animate UI. So instead of it just appearing all in once, it's going to slowly grow from the screen. It's going to slowly, it's going to start in the center. And it's going to grow. It's going to grow really quickly. So we're going to use tween service. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say local tween info equals tween info, oops, tween info dot new. And we need a duration. So how long do we want the grow to be? So I'm just going to say 0 0.6 seconds. And we need a easing style. So how do we want it to ease? We're going to, I'm just going to use linear for now. We're going to change it up later. So this is the repeat count. This is if it's going to reverse, which I'm going to say false and how what's the delay time I'm just going to say zero. So all of this is covered in the tween video, which is linked probably in the somewhere in the video and also in the description. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say local tween equals tween service create tween and no, uh, tween service create jump scare image tween info. Now we've got our properties table. So what we basically did here is we said we're going to use tween service. This line said we're going to use tween service and here's we're going to call it tween service. So we 
We now access tween service using a variable called tween service. We're creating tween info, which is information about the tween. So tween info new. This is the duration. This is the style that it's going to tween. This is the direction. This is how many times it's going to repeat. This is if it's going to reverse. Since we just want the thing to grow, we don't need reversing. And this is if we want the tween to wait a couple of seconds before it starts. So we don't want that. So now we're creating the tween with this line. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to set the size to udim2.new1010. What this is going to do is it's basically just going to set the size here to 1010. And you can't see it because it's invisible. That's going to be visible. And so it's going to set the size to 1010, but it's going to do it in a very smooth way. And you're going to see what that is right about now. So now it's going to wait five seconds and let's see what it does. So we're just going to wait. Nothing's happening in our game. And then... Okay, whoopsies. I forgot to play. So I'm going to say tween play. I was wondering why the tween wasn't working. It's because I forgot to play it. Okay, let's see what this does now. So we're in our game. We're going to wait five seconds. Nothing is going on. Nothing too special. Just a base play. And then... <laughs> that was too slow for me. That's way too slow. I'm just gonna say, let's make it 0.2. Instead of linear, we can try making it... You can really mess around with this. We can try cubic. Let's try three. So now let's see if this scares me a little bit more. Because that wasn't too scary. It just kind of popped out a little bit. Now, let's wait. Oh, okay. Woo! That was a jump scare, right? That. So that is how you can create a jump scare in Roblox. So if you made it this far, please like and subscribe. The last thing I'm going to do is teach you how to get the thing off of your screen. Now your players are scared, but how do you get it off of the screen so they can play the rest of the game, right? So we want to do, we want to copy this visible equals true line. Instead of making it true, instead of making it visible, we want to make it invisible. So after it's done playing, we're going to say, wait, and we can wait so this is going to be how many seconds you want to wait until the thing goes off of your screen i'm going to make it three seconds and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say jump scare image dot visible equals false that will make it invisible and what i'm going to do to add a little bit more randomness to this is i'm going to make this a random number i'm going to say math dot random four seven what this is going to do is it's going to instead of just waiting five seconds it's going to wait a random number between four and seven seconds so it could be waiting four seconds it could be waiting five seconds six seconds six seconds or seven seconds it, it will wait a random number between four and seven and then it will do the jump scare okay now let's try it and there it is and now it's just gonna disappear and our players can play the game again so actually the final thing i'm gonna do is actually add a sound to this thing if you don't know how to add a sound you can use my sound tutorial which i will link in the top right however i am gonna speed through the sound process just to show you what it will look like with sound so i'll be right back okay guys so i have my jump scare right here i'm going to go here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to say local jump scare sound equals script.parent.jumpscare what this is saying is it's saying let's create a variable called jump scare sound and let's set it equal to script.parent, which is this thing, dot jump scare, which is this thing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say jump scare sound play. So now it will play the jump scare sound at the same time as the jump scare. Let's try it. Okay, I'm an innocent player, not expecting anything at all. And there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. No, yeah, I totally love jump scares because they're so awesome. <laughs> Guys, if you want to make your jump scare better, you should subscribe to my Patreon. You can make it look like that.